Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Yasmeen Isa from Wellness with Yasmeen, and welcome to class number four of Glow from the Inside Out. Uh, this class is all about how to listen to your body and what it's telling you. And I'm excited for this class because we live in a world that tries to strip us from the ability of listening to our body. Before I begin, though, I would like to do what I normally do, which is the dua or supplication of Prophet Musa, alayhi salam, Prophet Moses, uh, when he, may God's uh, peace be upon him, when he asked God to make, um, to purify his speech. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri wa Yasirli Amri wa Ahdal Waqtatan min Lisani of Kaukoli. Okay, so we live in a world where a lot of people try to copy what works for someone else. This is especially true with us women. And this doesn't work because our bodies are all different. You know, one thing might be awesome for one person and totally bad for someone else. I'm forever getting questions about, you know, is this good? Is this bad? Is this bad? Is this good? Vice versa. And the thing is, is yes, some things are clear cut across the board. But other things really depend on the person. And what I want to teach you is how to tune into your body and figure out what is right for you and, you know, giving your body what it really needs. And that helps not only your body, but, you know, your mental state, your spiritual state, because we're all connected. Um, you know, what impacts us physically also impacts us mentally, spiritually, and, you know, the other way around. And the first thing to realize is that our body is always sending us signals. And women, especially women who are caretakers of other people, tend to forget this, forget to do this, or they ignore those signals. So, um, you know, a lot of women, we're very good naturally. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, has given us the talent, the natural ability to take care of other people. And obviously there are a lot of men out there who are very good at this, but nonetheless, across the board, it is easier, more natural for a woman than a man just because God create us, created men and women differently, right? And so um, there's so many different ways that people might be caretakers. I mean, you might be a caretaker to your sibling. I know that I have a sister who is 12 years younger than me, so I get a lot of motherhood practice from her. Um, you know, and I know there's a lot of people like that as well. I know that, um, you know, if you're a mother, obviously you're a caretaker. If you are a, a spouse, you know, you take care of your spouse and, you know, inshallah, God willing, your spouse takes care of you too. Um, at your job, you take care of things. There's just so, you know, you may be taking care of an elderly parent or a sick parent or, you know, there's so many other, um, non-traditional ways that you could be a caretaker and nonetheless it's really important that when we are caretakers that we realize that when we efficiently take care of ourselves we are so much better equipped to take care of everyone else in a way that is you know very wonderful not in you know a way of let's ignore ourselves and then be resentful about it that does not work and i know if you are in that situation that you know it doesn't work but you just need to pull away from it Nonetheless, um, when our body sends us signals, if we feel pain, if we feel bloated after eating something, if we feel back pain after doing a certain activity or, you know, wearing a certain item of clothing, hello, those are all tips. You want to start to pay attention to the signals your body is giving you on a daily basis. You know, you should not be feeling excessive um, discomfort just from digesting. If that's the case, there's probably some kind of food sensitivity going on or possibly like a gut imbalance, which, you know, alhamdulillah, all praise is due to God. That's one of our classes coming up. But um, you want to start paying attention to your signals. So my first question for you is what signals does your body send you? Listen to them and figure out what you need. Unfortunately, a lot of times women, and I especially notice this, and I see women drastically improve this, you know, as we work together, is that, you know, you may experience a lot of different scattered symptoms, but a lot of women never take the time to kind of connect all the dots, see why this is all happening, figure out why it's happening. Most of the time, I would say more than 90% of the time, symptoms have a pattern. 
they happen for a reason and it's always easy to not it takes work but it's not impossible so i don't want to say it's easy meaning you don't have to put any elbow grease into it you need to put el elbow grease into it but you don't it's not impossible is what i'm trying to say so you want to start really paying attention to your body recognizing different symptoms when they happen what is the commonality journaling really helps with this just jotting things down and um you know as you recognize the patterns and you know especially if you're working with a professional they can also help you with this and you know you get this kind of help within the program of course too but um you know you'll start to recognize why those things are happening and you know i would say one of the other things is to recognize um you know i, I mentioned sleep in the hormonal video and that is an important one a lot of times um cravings we talked about cravings in that survey a lot of times cravings happen from lack of sleep i think it was i don't know maybe like a little while ago a couple weeks back that i was speaking to a hormone on this speaking to a hormone speaking to a client i'm sorry i was speaking to a client not a hormone you can't talk to your hormones i guess you could um send your hormones some love i don't know but um i was speaking to a client um about the topic of our hunger hormones and how when we are at a lack of sleep those hunger hormones um leptin specifically the hormone that makes us feel full and ghrelin the hormone that you know um makes us feel hunger they're all out of whack if we don't sleep properly so you really want to make sure you're sleeping well because if you're not you are going to be grabbing for the sugars and the caffeines and you know the unnecessary carbs and all these different things so sleep you want to sleep and also going back to detox class massage is another way to to relieve the body and to produce um endorphins the happy hormone which also helps you out and exercise too is awesome especially incorporating um strength training along with your cardio for sure and um those are you know really key things that you want to start doing and um you know i would say that's the best way to go about starting the process of listening to your body i'm sure there's a lot you already know about your body you know it's not rocket science that you know there's a pattern that happens every time you know a woman is about to get her menstrual cycle or when she's just starting you guys know those patterns within yourself but you want to start to really ask yourself what am i craving am i craving company with someone am i craving you know intimate communication with someone am i craving sleep am i craving uh an intimate connection with my creator what are you really craving it usually is not found in your kitchen i'm not saying you can't enjoy those things of course you can i'm all about that and i hope you've realized that with all of my different recipes and how i love to you know try different things and you know the things i post on instagram but just realize that a lot of times we need to nourish ourselves in a different way um inshallah god willing so with that being said i hope that this video was beneficial to you all good came from him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala god and any bad came from myself please do forgive me assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu enjoy the rest of your day or night depending on the time that you listen to this